All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. New video released today by Border Patrol shows not only adult smuggling uh, migrants at the southern border, but minors, kids, also in on the action. Customs agents spotted a 16 year old smuggling foot guide from Mexico with other illegal immigrants crossing the Rio Grande. That 16 year old, a minor, was taken into custody in part of Operation Lone Star to crack down on smuggling guides. But that's not the only smuggling across the border. Check out this headline. Within the last four days, one million fentanyl pills found at the border. Spokesperson for the Department, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety is Lieutenant Chris Olivares and joins us live. Lieutenant, thanks for being with us here on the Hill. Appreciate it. A 16 year old uh, involved with smuggling attempts. Normally, I, I, I guess you just assume this is adults doing this, but I wonder how often you see children uh, doing this. You know, Blake, that's not the, uh, you know, typically that's what we perceive, right? That majority of adults are, you know, involved in some type of human smuggling, but that's not the case. In the last three years, you know, we've seen, you know, more kids, and I say kids because these are young adults. These are, you know, 13, 14, 15-year-olds that are involved in this type of criminal activity. Uh, these young kids now are taking part in human smuggling, and it's all because the cartels are recruiting these young kids uh, using social media platforms such as TikTok, Snapchat, uh, and it's all through deceptive advertising because, of course, these kids see this this glamorous lifestyle that's perceived by the cartels, you know, when they show large stacks of money and jewelry and cars, uh, they only see one yeah. side of it. They really don't see the underlying uh, consequences when they get involved with these type of organizations. So, so that, that is, video so right that is the really how. Shows that, yeah, no, right. sorry to jump in. That, that's the how, right? How they're doing this. But why are they going after children? Well, you know, the cartels realized one thing, and that, that, that video right there, that was part of a 3D operation that we're working with U.S. Border Patrol. In those three days, uh, Blake, we arrested four juveniles that were from Mexico that were smuggling other illegal immigrants across the Rio Grande uh, further into the interior. And what they do is when they bring them across the river, their job is to guide them across the brush and then get them to a load-up vehicle by another smuggler who then smuggles them further into the interior. And the reason why the cartels are targeting kids is because there's less consequences when these kids do get caught or arrested. Because for one, some cases, they don't prosecute these kids. And in this particular event, yeah. or when we have individuals from Mexico that are here illegally, especially kids, we turn them over to Border Patrol, and all they do is send them back to Mexico, and then they're doing the same type of activity the following day. So this is ongoing cycle, and the cartels are well aware. That's why they exploit that. That's why they exploit Look using kids to carry out their criminal activity. Lieutenant, l level with me here for a second. One million fentanyl pills found at the border in four days. Is, is that the case? And if so, how? You know, you know, Blake, you know, fentanyl still remains to be a significant threat to our country. You know, our agency alone, DPS, in the last three years, you know, we have seized over 472 million lethal doses statewide in Texas. That's just one agency. You know, these are drugs that have made it past, you know, checkpoints, past secondary checkpoints. And these are drugs that would have made it into our community. So that still remains to be a significant threat when we talk about fentanyl. It's not because the cartels are able to mass produce this drug at a very low cost and get it across the border. And we're continuing seeing these seizures, these massive seizures of pills that are coming across the border. So that still remains a threat to our country when we talk about fentanyl. All right. Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Olivares, thank you for the time. Keep up the great work out there. Uh, appreciate you, sir, uh, and, and hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.